Hey everyone, David here with TND Sports Cards. Welcome to our newest video. And today we're going to do our weekend way back. Uh, I had originally planned to do a box break involving baseball since the baseball season just started the other day. But I'm going to hold off until next weekend to do that um, because, uh, well, you know, the Mets season has not started. We're Mets fans here and we kind of wanted to coincide with that. Um, the Yankees have only played one game so far and they actually lost it. So it hasn't been the uh, best of uh, beginnings for New York baseball. But uh, we hope the um, the Nationals organization, their players, their staff members are uh, getting healthy and uh, getting through the whole uh, COVID thing, which has caused the uh, series between the Mets and the Nats to be uh, postponed to a later date. So the Mets are actually not playing their first game until Monday. Uh, and hopefully the Nationals will be as well. So today we're going to do... 1987, and we have packs here from football, baseball, and hockey. I do not have any basketball packs here, uh, mainly because, um, actually, the first video that I did for the channel, I opened a pack of 1987 uh, Fleer basketball cards, and I got a comment from another YouTube user only recently, I want to say it was maybe like within the last month and a half or two months, uh, talking about the just the authenticity of the pack. Now, when I opened it, there, were, there was nothing but commons in it. And the, um, the user who wrote the comment mentioned that there should have been a certain sequence, which it did not follow, which suggests that the pack was resealed. I do have other packs. I actually opened a few of them and I found more of the same. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm, I believe I purchased those packs from the same source. Uh, which was a very long time ago, which again is a, is a shame because that means resealing was going on even in the 90s. Um, I'm pretty sure I bought them all from a dealer at a show. Uh, so rather than waste everybody's time uh, opening more packs of potentially unauthentic packs, I decided to forgo the basketball. So I apologize if that disappoints anybody here. Um, but we're going to uh, move ahead and we'll uh, hopefully find some good stuff with our football, baseball, and hockey packs. So uh, for football, we have uh, three tops packs. And uh, we'll be looking for, uh, and actually we've already pulled a Randall Cunningham rookie card on a previous video. Uh, we also pulled a Charles Haley rookie. But we could potentially find Doug Flutie, uh, his rookie cards in this set, along with... Um, Jim Kelly, uh, Jim, I'm uh, sorry, Jerry Rice's second year card is uh, in this set along with Steve Young's. And of course, there's lots of other Hall of Famers. I believe this is the last year for Walter Payton's regular issue cards. Uh, I'm not 100% certain on that, but I think 87 was the last year he had a regular issue card. So if we found one of those, that would be uh, pretty nice as well. Uh, for the baseball, we have uh, five packs of... Uh, OPG, and we would be looking for a hopefully a very nicely centered Barry Bonds rookie card, but uh, that would be the uh, the card we would definitely be hoping to find here. And in hockey, we have we also have five packs. We have five packs of uh, OPG from uh, 87 88, and we're going to be looking for uh, a few uh, notable rookie cards. Uh, Mike Vernon is one of them. Uh, Luke uh, Robitaille, along with Ron Hextall, and Adam Motes. There's also uh, some nice Hall of Fame cards in here of Mario Lemieux, Wayne Gretzky, and uh, Patrick Watt's second year card is also in this set. So uh, we got a number of things we could potentially find in here. So with that... Let's get to opening our cards, and we'll start with our football packs. And like I said, there's uh, several rookies we could potentially find in here, including ones that we've been fortunate enough to find already in Randall Cunningham and Charles Haley. All right, so let's see what we got here. We have a George Rogers thousand yard rushing club card. And we have Anthony Munoz, who is in the Hall of Fame. 
Mike Richardson, Wilbur Marshall, Steve Cox, Jim Breach, Ron Fellows, Leonard Marshall, that's a nice one. Played for the Giants for a number of years. He was uh, a very good pass rusher. Okay, we have Lewis Wright, Mike Reichenbach, Tony Hill, Willie Galt, he was really good. That's not a rookie card, is it? No, it's not. I think his rookie card's in the 84 set. Steve Largent, record breaker, that's a nice one. Chris Hinton, we've pulled his rookie in previous videos from the 84 set. That picture actually looks very similar. Keith Bishop, and the last one of this pack is Dennis Hara. So, a couple nice cards we found in that one so far. And we got our gum stuck to our Ray Childress card here. T.J. Smith, 1,000-yard rushing club card. All right, so we got Rulon Jones, Mike Gann, Frank Garcia, Refrigerator, William Perry. Actually, this might be... No, it's not his rookie card. Sorry, his rookie card's in the 86 set. Sorry about that. Uh, William Andrews, he was pretty good. We got a... Broncos team card. Nick Lowry, he kicked forever. And Freeman McNeil, who actually saw something recently that was talking about how he could be a Hall of Fame candidate. I mean, from what I remember with him, he got hurt a lot. He never played full seasons. He was pretty good. I mean, on the back, looking at the back of this, I mean, it doesn't have the number of games played. It looks like he had one full season here, and uh, he actually put up some pretty good numbers. I, I do remember him being very good. Like I said, he just seemed to always had injuries. Like he was always missing a couple games here and there. This card also looks like it's uh, the ink is faded on it, too. All right, so we have a, I guess, a Bills team card uh, with Jim Kelly on it. That's actually pretty nice. That does not constitute as his rookie card, but we can put it aside. Uh, Jack Trudeau, Jeff Chadwick, Greg Bell, Ronnie Lippett, Carl Hairston, and Ray Childress rounds out our second pack. So this will be our third and final football pack for this video. And, oh, this is nice. We got a Mark Bavaro 1,000-yard receiving club. He was so good. He was one of the best tight ends I've ever seen, but he did not have an extremely long career. Plus, being on the Giants helped as far as the like department goes. All right, so we got uh, Rick Bryan, Sean Jones, Bruce Clark, Dave Jennings, Record Breaker, Jim Jeffcoat, Bill Kenny, Bill Fralick, Eric Martin of the Saints, Ernest Jackson, Gerald Wilhite, Dan Hampton, who I, I believe is in the Hall of Fame, I'm gonna have to look him up. I mentioned that recently. I pulled one of his cards and I never looked it up. All right, so we got Steve Watson, Lewis Breeden, Kevin Mack. He was good for a little while. We got Power Back and Chip Banks. All right, so we did not find any of the big rookies in our football packs. But we found some, some nice ones there. All right, so now we'll move on to our 
baseball packs. And again, there's really one card we're hoping to find, and that is Barry Bonds' rookie card. And these are, OPG is very much like, uh, that basically mirrors the top sets. I, uh, I always like the backs better. They seem to be a little brighter and more colorful than the tops cards were. All right, so we have Bob Kearney, Mike Flanagan, Tony Gwynn, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. You can see that they are, they're definitely uh, off cut, off center, but he is a Hall of Famer. Uh, Willie Upshaw, Vaughn Hayes, Mariano Duncan, and Mike Sosha, who I think finally retired from managing prior to last season. He managed the Angels for probably close to 20 years, I want to say. It was quite a long time. And they won one World Series early in his career as their manager. All right, so we got a Roger McDowell. We'll put him aside from 86 Mets lore. Uh, Tony Armas, Ron Darling, another nice one. Another nice Met. Dennis Boyd, Jose Canseco's uh, gold cup card. I think at one point in time, this was a sought after card. I can't imagine that it really is much anymore. Uh, Brooke Jacoby and Bob Boone. All right, so on to our next one. Gum actually looks good, actually smells pretty good too. All right, so we have Bill Campbell, Dave Dravecki, Howard Johnson, another Met from 86, Jim Presley, Kevin Gross, Willie Wilson, and John Cangelosi, who at one point did play for the Mets later on in the early 90s. Yeah, and you can see these cards, a lot of them are off center. Oh, this Dravecki actually looks pretty good. All right, on to our next one. Okay, and we got a Bruce Hurst to start us off. Pete and Cavilia, he was supposed to be a star. He never really, uh, never really uh, flourished completely. He had a nice looking rookie season here with 30 homers and 100, and, or I'm sorry, and 88 runs batted in. Uh, Sid Fernandez, another 86 Met. Jim Sundberg, Dave Kingman. Ooh, there's a good one. Oh, man, we. And again, this card is like severely off cut. I could see why finding tens in these would be pretty difficult. But uh, that's a nice card. And our last card of this pack is Greg Walker of the White Sox. All right. So we got one last baseball pack here. Ron Romanic, now with the Yankees. I have to say, I do not remember him playing for the Yankees at all. I totally remember him with the Angels. And I do remember him having that one really good year, too, which was 85, it looks like, here. And we got another 86 Met, Len Dykstra. Andy Van Slyke, he was a great player. Very, very... I guess great is probably... A bit much, but he was just a solid, solid player for many, many years in baseball. Uh, mostly with the Pirates. Uh, we got Craig Reynolds, Mike Pagliarillo, Terry Poole, and the last card is Dwayne Murphy. So we did not find a Barry Bond. So we've tried two times already. We, we did a video on these a couple months back. Still have not found the Bonds. Maybe we'll have to break that full box open one day that we have and find one all right so we're going to move on to our hockey packs now and uh, as i mentioned before there's a few rookies we'll be looking for uh, namely ron hextall luke robitaille mike vernon and adam Motes. plus we have uh, a nice second year card of patrick law along with cards of uh, 
plenty of other Hall of Famers like Gretzky and Lemieux. And the gum is plastered onto our Dave Richter card here. I don't know if we're going to have much luck getting it off. Uh, you know, I'm just going to... Oh, we got another card stuck to it. Wow, it looks like the gum has actually bled through a little bit here. All right, we'll leave that one aside. I hope they're all not like that. That would be unfortunate. All right, so we have Dave Richter with the gum stuck to him. We have Mark Johnson of the Devils, Dave Tippett, and a Mike Gartner coming up. This is what the backs, yeah, see the gum bled through. You can see on the side here that it's got some serious stains going on there. And Mike Gartner, this is a nice card. But again, it's got on the bottom there, you can see it's got big stains on it. Well, I hope they're not all like that because I think they all came from the same place. All right. He's, Mike Gartner is a Hall of Famer. We got Ulf Samuelson. We've got another Hall of Famer here, Dale Howarchuk. Man, I say this every time I see these cards, but I just, I love those old Winnipeg jerseys. They're really awesome looking. I like the old Capitals jerseys too, along with the Whalers. All right, our last card in this pack is Alan Peterson. So we found a couple Hall of Famers there. I don't think Ulf Samuelson's in the Hall of Fame. I didn't mean to just jump past him, but I don't think he is. Oh, wow, look at this. Gum is all over this Tomastein. Yeah, it's gonna, that's too bad. I hope we don't find a really nice card that has this going on with it. And we got a Roland Melanson behind here, so that's not terrible. But our Tomastein is uh, definitely seen better days. All right, so our Roly the goalie. And our Andy Moog is uh, got a stain on it. So does our Patrick Flatley here. It looks like we have to get to like the fifth card before we don't have a stain on it. I think that happened with the first pack too. Uh, we got Bobby Carpenter. Ooh, Yari Curry, he got spared. And this card's centered really nice too. We've been finding a lot of Yari Curry cards in our breaks here. But that's a, another nice one. And Doug Wickenheiser of the Blues. Okay, so on to number three here. And this time it did not stick. It's stuck to the front of the pack. That's really interesting. And we have ourselves another Yari Curry here. It's still sort of sticking to our Pat Flatley. And he's got a, a really big stain, a really big stain on him there. Uh, we got Dave Taylor, Brian Propp, Kirk Muller, Craig Hartsburg, and a checklist. All right, so on to number four. I haven't found any of our big names that we've mentioned yet. No, oh, that's too bad. Ripped the card there. Again, a good thing it wasn't anything uh, too significant. No offense to Steve, uh, to Stuart Gavin, sorry. Uh, we got Dave Christian of the Caps, Bruce Driver, Marcel Dion. Well, that card's really miscut. Dave Anderchuk, he is in the Hall of Fame. John Tonelli, who we remember fondly with the Islanders. And Gino Cavallini. So again, nothing too big in there. All right, so we got one more pack to maybe find some of those big rookies, or at least one of them. This is not a rookie card in the back here. And we got another man. This one doesn't want to come off. This card's going to get ripped. 
another boost driver. Yeah, it's not gonna come off. I'll leave that one there. Did we double up on that or no? Nope, that's still boost driver. Okay, all right, so we have Dave Ellett, Clark Gillies, wow. I I really do not remember him going to the Sabres, except for one season. Huh. Yeah, I totally do not remember that at all. I must have just blacked it out when uh, when he left the Islanders. Uh, Chris Kotsopoulos, I don't remember him either. And we got two of him, so we definitely won't forget him. That's crazy, <laughs> back to back. And our last one is uh, Steve Conroy. All right, so we really did not find anything too significant with our hockey packs there. And we'll just do a quick little recap for what we found. So for football, we got a Dan Hamp Hampton. We got a Mark Bavaro 1,000-yard club. Uh, we got a Bills team card, which is uh, highlighted by Jim Kelly working the ground game. Uh, J.C. Smith... 1,000-yard club, uh, Steve Larger, record breaker, Leonard Marshall, the Giants, uh, Hall of Famer, Anthony Munoz, and we got a 1,000-yard rushing club card of George Rogers, uh, then we got a few Mets, Len Dykstra, we did get a Don Mattingly, uh, back to the Mets, Sid Fernandez, Howard Johnson, Ron Darling, Roger McDowell, and uh, Hall of Famer, Tony Gwynn. And for hockey, we got an Islander and Steve Conroy. We got a Dave Anderchuk. It's a nice card. Uh, Pat Flatley. We got a couple of Pat Flatleys. We got a couple of uh, Yari Curries as well. Uh, there's our Pat Flatley with the gum stain on it. Uh, we got a Dale Howardchuk. And our uh, uh, last one here, Mike Gartner. All right, so uh, we found some nice cards there. We did not find any of the really big rookies, but uh, nonetheless... Uh, uh, some nice ones anyway. Uh, this was a fun break. Um, I want to thank you for joining us. And um, again, I apologize for the, um, that we didn't do a box break. We will definitely do it next weekend. Uh, hopefully the baseball season, at least from a New York standpoint, will be in full swing. Uh, being that we're Mets fans here, they will have uh, played some games by then. So uh, we look forward to bringing that to you. And uh, coming up, our uh, next video will be uh, this Monday, our Modern Monday. We're going to be... Uh, we're going to step back just a few years to 2016 and uh, open up a, a Series 1 baseball box of tops. So we look forward to bringing that to you. And as always, please like and subscribe. And uh, we will see you on Monday. Uh, everybody, I uh, hope you have a uh, nice holiday this weekend and hope everybody's staying safe. And uh, thank you again for watching. Take care.